Marking the 1 millionth archive submission, here are some introductory slides I've used, starting with this plot of monthly submissions going back to the summer of 1991 when the original email transponder went live. It was intended to level the research playing field, giving equal access to the most recent materials, and designed for about 100 submissions per year in a particular subfield. 23 years later, that rate has scaled up by a factor of 1,000. There are more details of the origin story in this 20th anniversary write-up from a few years ago. This is the HP 735 it was running on in the early days of the web over 20 years ago under a desk in my office at the Los Alamos National Laboratory. The main site moved in 2001 and has since been administered and maintained by the Cornell University Library, which has also figured out a way to fund it. Here's a decade-old screen grab of the front page. Perhaps reassuringly, it hasn't changed much. The glass half full view would be what prescience to still be using a methodology from decades ago. The glass half empty view would be, wow, does that site ever need an overhaul? Some of that, of course, has been happening behind the scenes. The plot at left shows the cumulative submissions by subject area. Early on, there were comments that this wouldn't catch on in field X, but some of the early slow starters, for example, condensed matter and astrophysicists, did catch up to the high energy physicists within a decade. Later mathematics caught on, and most recently, computer science has started to pick up. The experience has been that once a community latches on, it doesn't turn back. It took about 17 years until 2008 for the first half million submissions, then only another six years to double that. At current growth rates, it'll double again to 2 million before 2022. In the early 2000s, we did a reality check to see whether it was still as necessary a resource, with most conventional journals then coming online, and discovered that usage was heavier than ever from a few hundred thousand full text downloads per week then to closing in on a couple million per week now. In the run up to the one million point, I made this projection based on previous year's data and was intrigued to find that the year to year statistics are regular enough with some luck that a month later it hit the threshold within a few hours of the projection on the night of the Christmas day holiday. Those submissions were made available at the beginning of this week on the 29th of December and there's been some fun multinational press coverage. Thank you.